All right, guys, welcome back to another Cichlid Escape video. Today's video isn't about the goldfish, but quite frankly, I'm just loving these guys right now. So if you've not checked out our most recent video, which is on the goldfish and that whole tank and what we've got going on in there, make sure you check it out. I'll leave a link at the top right hand side of your screen right now. And look, tank's super simple, but just really trying to grow these goldies big and fat and looking forward to uh, hopefully doing that. Today's video, is in the fish room, however, and it is focused on one of the tanks and one of the groups that you guys really like, or at least used to really like. So let's crack on. So here we are. It's moving day. Gold is looking cute. Anyway, move away. Today's video is not about you. It's about this tank right here. African Cichlid Show Tank. I've had it for a while. Uh, kind of wanted to get into the African Cichlid Show Tanks again, but just weren't really enjoying it as much as I thought. Um, that guy was looking awesome though, really coloured up. Um, but I don't know, I just weren't getting the same joy out of it as, as what I thought I would. Um, still wanted to keep the tank, still wanted to keep it African Cichlids, but today we're gonna be moving the awesome blue neon group up to this tank and then giving the fry more space in this four foot 33 gallon taking the divider out and giving them all that so this is basically going to just become a african cichlid blue neon breeder rack and this male with the five females and of course the magic skull are going to be going in to the 55. we currently did this when we acclimated a new goldfish so that's what you can see there as you can tell, this was maybe a week or two ago. We're going to be taking some of these fish in the 55 to the fish store, and I'm going to be selling a few of them, probably three or four, to people I know in the local area too. So that's the plan. We're going to get everyone caught. And as you can see, they're the caught. Got them out of the 33 gallon pretty quickly. I've tested the water. The water's pretty much the same. Same water change schedule on these tanks same African cichlid sand substrate, so all those parameters match. And here we are taking down the Great Wall of China that is the divider. And as you can see, the Blue Neon Fry just don't give a beep about that. Um, but I'm sure in time they'll, <laughs> they'll get used to that not being there and go out to the tank. So they're now going to have a four foot 33 gallon tank just to kind of scurry around by themselves. I've got about 25 of them growing out right now. So really excited to see how they progress. And I think I've got at least one or two really, really nice males. So hopefully I'll get some uh, shots of that toward the back end of the video. But for now, we've got this free tank. So we may as well uh, get the guys in there. It's gonna be a quick little plop and drop, because as I said, Everything matches in terms of the temperature, the pH, the nitrates, everything like that. So yeah, we're gonna crack on and we're gonna drink some Panera orange juice while we're at it because I had a work event earlier and Panera orange juice were there. So happy days, yeah. <laughs> so all the blue neons went in without a problem they're all kind of chilling in and amongst the rocks and in the skull right now so we're going to give them a little bit of time let them settle down and then we'll uh, come and take a look at them in a few hours and hopefully by then they'll be out and about and uh, the male will be looking mighty fine
So there you have it guys, Blue Neon's moved. Males looking superb. I hope you enjoyed that little cinematic portion of the video. It's been a while since I've done that. Um, but yeah, everyone's golden. This tank right now is working at around 78 degrees. It's got a sponge filter and a Sunsun 304B as the filters. Um, so yeah, I think the Blue Neon should be happy in here. Four foot, 55 gallon. And then underneath, we've got the 33 gallon just for the fry. They're still a little bit skittish. They're all seem, seeming to be chilling around that sponge filter for now, but I'm sure in a few days time, they'll be all about the tank. So that's pretty much the African cichlid rack. Now we've got the breeding group on top, fry underneath. We've got the goldfish 40 gallon breeder to the right of it with the uh, big red cap aranda down there, a ranchu and then a little Ryukin. Really excited to see what I can do with these guys. We then got the 55 gallon planted tank with the angelfish and then the 125 gallon South American tank minus the blood parrot, of course. But really, really happy with how the fish tanks in the fish room are looking right now. If you've enjoyed this video, if you wanna see more things like this, make sure you comment down below, like this video and let me know what you wanna see moving forward. Really happy to get the blue neons moved and hopefully they'll enjoy this tank and will continue breeding for me because I'm definitely planning on breeding these this group some more because I've really enjoyed it so far. So let's end with the blue neons having a little feeding. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot for supporting the channel. Bye for now. <laughs>